there are many guns and daisy but which one is the best is it the one that shoots the fastest the one that does the most damage the one that shoots the furthest the one with the most attachments or the one with the biggest mag well if you're here for the short answer the lar is the undisputed king So how did I come up with these values and how do other guns compare? Well first we need to look at every attribute that affects a gun. Damage, noise, DPS, DPM, mags, weight, size, attachments, rarity, range, dexterity, zero in and fire rate. We can rule out some which aren't going to make or break how good a weapon is to make finding the best weapon easier. So. How did I calculate the damage? Well, damage in Daisy is determined by what round the gun shoots. So, if you want more information on that, go watch my ammo guide linked below. We can then use the damage value along with the fire rate of the weapon to calculate the damage per second. DPS is a great statistic, but when fighting larger groups, it is useful to know the damage per minute as this takes into account the reload speed of the weapon. It is important to note that some guns are full automatic, so have a fixed fire rate, whereas others are semi-automatic. This is where the fire rate is practically determined by how quick you can click. For these results, I'll be taking an average over 3 tests, clicking as fast as I can. I'm averaging at above 7 CPS. This isn't insane, but should give a realistic value of how much damage an average player can do with said weapon. So, let's start it off with the infamous Mark II, a semi-automatic pistol. This is its fire rate. Taking an average of 1.917 seconds to shoot 11 rounds, giving it a fire rate of 5.738. Do remember, this is highly dependent on how quick you can click as the gun is semi-automatic. We can then use this fire rate to determine its damage per second. Shooting the .22, it deals 15 damage a shot. We can then multiply this damage value with the fire rate to get the damage per second, which is 86.07. We can then measure its reload speed to get its damage per minute. Along with its mag size of 10, we can calculate how often it needs to reload within this minute. This gives us a DPM of 2003.7. So, what's good about the Mark II? Well, nothing really. It has an internal suppressor, takes no attachments, shoots the .22 round, has a 10 round mag, and has an optimal range of less than 100 meters. Next on our list, we have the Makarov IJ-70. Here is its fire rate. Shooting 12 rounds in 1.874 seconds, given as a fire rate of 6.403 rounds a second. The IJ-70 has a base damage of 21, giving it a DPS of 134.463, with a reload speed of 2.911. Combine this with the mag size of 11, we can work out the DPM at 2943.4. The Makarov then, it shoots the .380 round, takes a pistol suppressor attachment, has a 11 round mag and has an optimal range of 50 meters. Here we have the CR75, this is its fire rate. Shooting at 15 rounds in an average of 2.313 seconds, this gives us a fire rate of 6.485 rounds a second, dealing a base damage of 26, which then gives us a DPS of 168.61, with a reload speed of 2.966 and a mag size of 15 which then gives us a DPM of 4407.59. The CR75 shoots the 9x19mm rounds, takes a pistol suppressor as well as a pistol flashlight, has a 15 round mag and has a realistic range of under 100 meters. The Glock, no the Glock 91, well whatever, here is its fire rate. 
shooting 15 rounds in 2.277 seconds this gives us a fire rate of 6.558 a second with a base damage of 26 this gives us a dps of 171.288 combine this with the reload speed of 3.033 and a mag size of 15 we get the dpm of 4406.78 shooting at 9 by 19 with a mag size of 15 and taking the pistol suppressor flashlight and mini sight it has a realistic range of under 100 meters the fnx this is its fire rate Shooting 15 rounds in 2.227 seconds, giving us a fire rate of 6.735 rounds a second. With a base damage of 34, this gives us a DPS of 228.99, along with its reload speed of 2.898 and a mag size of 15. This gives us a DPM of 5970.73. The FX45 shoots 45 ACP, takes the pistol suppressor, mini sight and flashlight. It also has a 15 round mag and a realistic range of about 50 meters. The Colt 1911 coming in the 1.06 patch. Here is its fire rate. Shooting 7 rounds in 1.088 seconds, this gives us a fire rate of 6.432 rounds a second. With a base damage of 34, this gives us a DPS of 218.67. The Colt has a reload time of 2.998. With a mag size of 7, we get a DPM of 3648.85. The Colt shoots the 45 ACP round, can take the pistol suppressor and a flashlight, has a 7 round mag and a realistic range of 50 meters. So that's the pistols currently in the game as of 1.06. So which one is the best? Well in terms of damage the Colt and FNX both deal in a base damage of 34. In terms of damage per second the FNX is king with a DPS of 228.99 but this is only because it got lucky my clicks per second isn't consistent as I'm only human. You could achieve the exact same fire rate with any of these weapons. This makes the FNX and Colt both as good as each other in terms of damage per second as DPS is directly affected by their base damage whereas previously discussed they both excel. The reload speed of the Mark II is the quickest coming in at 2.749 seconds. This is closely followed by the FX45 at 2.898 seconds, the slowest being the Glock at 3.033 seconds. In terms of mag size, the FX45, CR75 and Glock all have a mag size of 15. One of the main reasons keeping the Colt from best overall pistol is the mag size of 7. For damage per minute, the FX45 deals an insane 5,970 damage which could easily be pushed over 6,000 with a quicker click speed. Remember, damage per minute takes into account the reload speeds of each weapon, how often it will have to reload with its mag size to calculate how many bullets will fire in that minute which is then multiplied by the damage of the gun. This is why the FX45 has such a high damage per minute as it deals the most damage and has the biggest mag. In second, we have the Glock doing only 4,406 damage per minute. You could even argue the FX is three times better than the Mark II as it deals a pathetic 2,003 damage per minute. On the flip side, when talking about range, Mark II is a slightly better option. This is more due to the bullet it shoots over the actual gun though. However, range really doesn't play a big part when deciding the best pistol. When talking attachments, all pistols can take some form of suppressor, but the FX45 and the Glock can take the most attachments, allowing for an additional flashlight and the mini sight. So, what do I conclude as the best pistol? Well, it's definitely not the Mark II. While the internal suppressor is nice, it lacks in nearly every other area, maybe good for taking out zombies. The Makarov is then only slightly better, then I put the Colt in. Third, while it would be good for taking out one enemy, I can see it becoming an annoyance when fighting multiple players as the 7 round mag really doesn't cut it. The CR75 is overall an average pistol coming in at third. The Glock, while is very similar to the CR75, has a few additional benefits like the option for a mini sight as well as a slightly quicker reload speed. 
and finally the FX45 in first place as it has both the highest damage per second and damage per minute. This is thanks to it shooting the 45 ACP ammo from its 15 round mag. I'd have liked to have made this one whole video going over every gun but as you can see it's getting quite long already and we've only covered 6 out of the 25 weapons we will go over in this series. I've tried to step up the production quality on these videos which is then in turn taking longer to edit. However I think it's worth it. If you enjoyed please consider joining the channel as it helps a lot.